Alibaba unveiling a new AI model that it claims could rival DeepSeek. This is just the latest development in the AI race as companies look to produce higher performance models and capitalize on growing demand. Now another race is on to power the AI revolution. Joining us now on this, Amir Orad, Kraken CEO. And Kraken, as a reminder, provides AI-powered operating systems for energy utilities. Amir, it's great to have you on. Talk to me about Alibaba un unveiling this rival to DeepSeek. How does this competition that's heating up among the AI players impact your business? Yeah, we're seeing an arms race in the AI market, yeah. which may be actually good for consumers at the end, because we get better and better technologies. When it comes to energy specifically, AI has two, two roles to play. Number one, it consumes a lot of energy, so we need more capacity in the networks. It can also be used to optimize the energy grid and actually make it easier for us as consumers. I mean, just the ability to meet that demand, what does that look like? Yeah. It means we need, as a country, to have more energy. For the last 20 years, the U.S. energy capacity was more or less flat. Mm -hmm. Now it's spiking up. AI, electrification, heating at homes, electric vehicles. We need way more energy than we ever did. It's interesting in the context of just the popularity of AI, I think about the amount of energy it uses every time I ask ChatGPT one of my silly questions and yep. I start to wonder if it's really worth it for me to be using ChatGPT given where we're at with the climate right now. Is there a way to make AI clean energy friendly? Yeah. First of all, AI become, is becoming more and more efficient all the time. Like most technologies, you know, your phone, internet speed, it's becoming better and better. And clean energy is becoming cheaper and cheaper. Today's solar panel, solar power, is cheaper than any other alternative uh, uh, energy technology. Mm -hmm. So if you can use AI and have it use clean power, it's actually very cost effective and not polluting. How receptive, uh, just in terms of the capex that you're seeing from your clients, their willingness to spend right now, has that at all changed over the last several months? Or what are some of the trends maybe that we could extrapolate from that? And then that tells us about future adoption. Yeah. Even though the administration changed and a lot of the language used is different, yeah. both the previous administration and this one are talking about more energy consumption in the US. That's no different. The talk about climate change may be different, mm -hmm. but red states and blue states are deploying solar panels every day because it's cheap and we like cheap, cheap power. So that is not changing. People are investing in green technologies, investing in new generation, nuclear, gas, and clean energy. Mm. And how are you thinking more broadly about the policies of this administration and how they could impact you? One, one thing that comes to mind is the focus of this administration on keeping energy costs low. Yep. Do you think that you could see more competition when it comes to people relying on old school energy models like gas, for example, mm -hmm. or are we past that? The Economist had a big cover story that, again, solar is the cheapest, period, end of story. Ten years ago, we needed subsidies, we needed politics to help us. That's not the case anymore. So clean energy is cheap energy, and that's good for consumers, good for all of us, and AI can be used to optimize all of this energy production. I'm curious just because you have such a global footprint. Yeah. The conversations here in the U.S. compared to those that you're having with clients in other parts of the world, yeah. how does that compare? You definitely see geopolitics coming to play. Yeah. People are looking for more energy independence and more local energy production. All markets are looking to modernize their energy systems. Mm -hmm. Our energy networks were invented before the iPhone, before the internet, before the electric vehicle. They have to be modernized, be it in Australia or in the UK or in the US. It's the exact same situation.